to unreality. At its worst, hanging out with the dew in the morning, just me and you, intimate style, just the way I like it. Well, I was reading an article this morning about hedge funds and how they cleaned up. How did they do it? Betting against national disasters. And they made a record number of billions. And I mean a record number of billions on catastrophe bonds in 2023. And the top hedge funds snapped them up like mad the minute that they were issued. And they reached historic profits. And what are they? Well, catastrophe bonds or cat bonds are called insurance-linked securities that pay outside returns if a national disaster doesn't happen. An investor puts up collateral, and that collateral is used if disasters occur, but gets it back if it doesn't, and it earns interest along the way. They entail precise qualifies as a catastrophe like how high the water got in a flood and if a disaster doesn't meet these specific criteria then the bondholder doesn't have to shell out the money you can bet on horses you can bet on temperatures you can bet on water levels you can bet that about 50 percent of the marriages roughly speaking are going to fail you can bet on anything Oh yeah, Vegas odds. I don't know if Vegas lets you bet on marriages, but anyway. Jack and his wife, speaking of marriages, lived in Arizona where the summers are very hot and the winters aren't too cool. Yeah. Well, Jack, he woke up one morning during a heat wave and as he stepped out of the shower, he complained to his wife saying, It's just too hot to wear any clothes on a day like this. And honey, what would the neighbors think if I mowed the lawn without any clothes on? And his wife responded, that I married you only for your money. Come on, get with the program, hair man, get with the program. How about in a lower key? I like that key there. Hey, I'll tell you a story about a guy in a uniform that returned home. A guy that drank all night and played all day and stayed up most of the time and slept when he could and sat in the porch in the rocking chair while others made hay. He returned from the great wars, well, and many wars too, and, well, that's what they say anyway. It made him that way because Uncle Sam used him good. Nuclear war is like incest. We can all imagine what it'd be like if it happened, but none of us want to actually have it happen. Also both cause deformities along the way. Verse one, he drank all night and he played all day. Never did he seem, seem to stray from the bottle he found his piece. <laughs> Pardon me. It was that feather I found in my throat. In the music he found his grace. He stayed up all night and he slept when he could. On the porch he sat while others made. Hey, don't know if that rhymed or not, but... He had returned from the wars and Uncle Sam had used them as Uncle Sam often does. And in the morning he'd rise with the sun. But at night, the demons had won. He found comfort in the bottle of, well, you know, the bottom of the glass. And in the greenness of the grass, and those golden leaves, but the memories, they never passed. They never ceased. He stayed up all night, and he slept when he could. On the porch, he sat while others made hay. That still doesn't rhyme, for he had to return home wasn't quite in one piece from all the wars he had fought, and Uncle Sam had used him good. And they say war changes a man, but he never thought it would be his end. 
He came back a different soul, and now he's paying Uncle Sam's toll. He stayed up all night and slept when he could. On the porch he sat while others made hay, for he had returned from the great wars, but Uncle Sam used him, as Uncle Sam often does. So when you see him on the porch in his rocking chair, just know he's fighting an internal war. He may seem distant, lost in thought, but his battle scars, they can't be bought. Now the war in Afghanistan ended after about 20 years, and many people wonder who won. But I can tell you mainly who won. Raytheon, General Dynamics, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, Lockheed, and ammunition, and suppliers, and Black Rock, and investors, and the list goes on, politicians playing their game. Three-letter agencies, messing with war, what is it good for? Well, you know the title to that. Nothing absolutely backwards. All right, now on with the...